Hey coach, I'm glad you found us here at YouTube. Please check us out all over at teachhoops.com up here, down here. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Free newsletter, 14 day free trial if you wanna join. Um, go check out all the resources. You, you cannot beat the deal of teachhoops.com. You know, you buy a video, it's 20, 30 bucks for one video. We got a vast majority of them. Anything that a basketball coach would need. So go check it out, teachhoops.com for coaches who wanna get better. I'm Steve Collins and I'm going to talk about some of our uh, most effective out-of-bounds plays, things that, that we have found have been uh, really good for us as far as scoring uh, easy points. Um, so what I'm going to have the blue team do is get in a box set, someone throwing it in, and as you're doing that I'm going to talk a little bit. Uh, you know, my teams have been really good over the last eight or nine years. You know, we've won three state championships. I think we've been runners-up four times. We've been in the state finals nine straight years. There was a point where we were really bad <laughs> when I took the job for the first time. And this is what kept us competitive, out of bounds plays. Uh, you know, it was something that, you know, I, I, there were several things that I looked at when I took the job over. I, you know, the, when I got the job, the school had had like five winning seasons in 35 years. I knew we had a lot of building to do. You know, I'm, I'm lucky that I've had a couple professional players come through, but I knew I had a lot of work, and there was a couple of things I knew I could do. I knew I could outscout people. I knew I could spend more time on it, and I knew I could score some points out of bounds plays. You know, I didn't know if we'd get the ball past half court. I didn't know if we could run our offense. I didn't know if we could break the press. I didn't know if we could press, but I knew we were going to have to be not in the 80s when I started out, but I knew we were going to be probably in the 40s. And I knew if I could get six to eight points on out-of-bounds plays, we had a shot. Um, and I think people don't spend enough time on out-of-bounds plays. Uh, it, I, don't, I don't know why. You know, it's, a la it's kind of that last thing. You know, I teach math, and it's like everyone teaches probability at the end of the year. It's kind of the thing you just throw in when May comes around and it's warm outside. And, you know, you just, it's the end of the school year. It's kind of the same. It's an afterthought. Um, you know, out of bounds plays, side out of bounds plays are afterthoughts, and I'm not sure why. Um, they they have become less important the last five or six years because again, I've had really good players, and scoring isn't our issue. Um, but you know, I'm kind of shifting back now, back to reality a little bit, and I'm not going to have you know maybe a professional player on my team in the next four or five years. I'm going to have to score some points into my out-of-bounds plays. So I think it's a, it's a spot where coaches can, can create things um, for your players. You know, you, we all try to get them to the free throw line. We all try to get easy buckets out of quick hitters or our sets. Um, but I think out-of-bounds plays is, are something that, that are, are kind of a lost art, and it's something that you can get really good at, make the other team scout you, make the other team try to stop you, um, and you can score some points. All the out-of-bounds plays I'm going to show are, are will work against a man and will work against a zone. Doesn't matter. We'll work against both of them. Um, some work better against man, some work better against zone. But I, I don't think you can have a set for man and a set for zone. I think you got to have um, you got to have them both. Couple big things for me: <laughs> you got to have a name. Whoever's throwing the ball in has to call it fast. So I don't know if your guys are better. Uh, at it than mine, but you know we have an issue with not getting into the play fast enough. So we literally practice getting into our out of bounds plays during practice. And if they don't, we run. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, boom. If we don't have the out of bounds play and they haven't run it, get in line, let's go. And I don't run my guys very often because we run you know full court kind of offense. So yeah, I think it's really important. You know, depending on who's throwing it in, 
you know, they got to really, really talk. And they got to yell it. And it might be a packed gym, but they got to let everyone know we're running three, we're running five, we're running two, whatever it is. You know, we use a numbering system on our out-of-bounds plays just so I can help them a little bit. You know, I don't, I don't tend to, to use numbers for plays or quick hitters because I... Early in my career, I had a quick hitter that was one, and they thought one shot, and it was a whole, you know, it's not as big a deal underneath the basket if you call one or two. So that's why we number our out-of-bounds plays. But um, call it early, call it often is basically what I said. Um, there's a couple that I'm going to show you that seem really, really simple. Simple is complicated when it comes out-of-bounds plays. Don't overthink it. Um, someone's already thought of it, to be honest with you, and they've probably already run it. So, you know, uh, I talked about this in that, when we were talking about press breaks. You don't always have to screen. Cuts are as good as screens in an out-of-bounds play. If you cut hard and the timing is good, a cut is good as a, as a screen. Especially against a zone, it's, it's sometimes people get turned, they get their back turned, they're not sure where they are. Um, so all, uh, some of our more effective plays are actually flashes rather than screens. Um, so it kind of depends on, on what we're dealing with. So um, I'm just going to call them, I'm not going to be original, you can, you can renumber. We're going to do five or six box ones and then we'll go and kind of expand it and we'll do some line ones. And So we'll call this one box one. Um, <clears throat> so let's put you over here. Now, the numbering system, I have a real issue with out-of-bounds plays. I think every kid needs to know every spot. Um, now, there's some that obviously, you know, people are, are shooters and are going to get a three-pointer, and I'm not going to run the out-of-bounds play for my five-man who's 6'9 and can't shoot a three. But you need to know more than one spot. Again, going back to my team, it seems like my guys know this spot and that's it. And they don't know, and all of a sudden... The spot they know is taken by someone else that doesn't know another spot, and then we don't run that out-of-bounds play right. So <clears throat> when we practice these, I move them around a lot. I won't with these guys because they're going to see it once, and then we're going to run it, and then we're going to go on the next one. But um, you need to make sure you move people around a lot because when there's an important game and two of your starters have fouled out, and all of a sudden you have to run an out-of-bounds play to try to win the thing, they better know where they're going because you might not have any timeouts left. Um, not that that's happened, though it has, but, you know, it, it always does when you, when you least expect it. All right, so we always, especially in the box set, we tell these two guys before we even set the play up, and I'm over here and I'm the, the official, if you're open, pass it to them. So there you go, that's it. There's the DVD, done. No, <laughs> but you'd be surprised how often you can pass the ball to the two guys underneath. I mean, I, I, I am. I mean, I think we scored four points. This four or six points by just doing that, um, because the official, these guys aren't. Wor these guys are. You know, coaches yelling at me. I'm not. My head's turned, and this guy's posting up like no tomorrow. Give me the ball. You can't get much better. So that's not part of the play, but you'd be surprised how often you can score. Um, so we always tell our bottom post guys, post up. Before we, you know, right away, you know, even though he, he's going to pop to the corner in a second, post up. You know, you're two feet from the basket. If you're open, he can pass it to you. Uh, we don't need to set seven screens and four cuts and do all that. We, you know, let's get the ball into you. Um, so what's going to happen is you're going to post up, and then you're going to pop to the corner. Boom. <clears throat> you're going to screen for him. All right. You're going to pop out. The ball's going to go to the corner. All right, to here, to here, nope, stay there, stay there, all right, you're going to pop out, you're going to go down and set a screen, and you're going to curl in, curl in, you're a big guy, we're going to pretend you're six seven. Oh, I know, my, my doctor told me I was going to be 6'5", I'm 5'11", so it should be a lawsuit, so cut, curl. Boom. All right. Why will this work? Got to cover. Got to cover. All right. Got to cover. So it doesn't matter if it's a zone. 
If it's a 2-3, this guy's not going to sit here and just let him stand out there. He's going to creep out here. Same thing with this one. So it doesn't matter if it's a zone. It will, it will be open. All right, so let's run this one more time, and then we'll have White come defend. So post, good. We don't always have to set this screen either. We can just pop, good. Curl, down screen, little one. All right, give me the defense. They'll start cheating. They'll start cheating. Okay? If they start cheating, fake the screen, pop back here. You can always go, rather than corner, you can go here. Okay? So if they start cheating and, oh, God, they're going to go from here to here, okay, we're just going to bypass it. Okay? We're gonna just going to bypass that one and go right here. Because they're not going to leave that middle wide open. So if we don't have to set that screen, don't. But if you can, great. All right, go ahead. Boom. Layup. Yes! That will be there. Let's not let them score a layup. So get around on him. There you go. I know he's really strong. And he's got good Nikes on. All right, here we go. Go. Run it through. Run it through. Good. Screen, 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 screen. Look for the three. Curl. Good. Excellent. What's your name? Justin. Justin did a great job, if you want to rewind on that. He did a good job of curling. He came down here, screen, boom, he's the second option. All right? The guy that screens always our second option. So that will be there. All right.